Take care about nature. After last year's survival action. If you mess up your bow breaks, you lose everything. Myself and Julius should do a rematch. So Julius, you're challenged. This is the bow making battle 2.0. This time we'll have more time to bushcraft some decent bows. We'll be hammock camping for two nights in the Celtic roundhouse we're building and bring you through the process of bow making. You guys voted for basic bushcraft cutting tools on this one. So we'll only be using axe, knife and folding saw and also a bit of bowstring. Then on the third day, the judge has arrived. My name is Jack Pinson. I'm a master bowyer with the traditional craft guild of Bowyers and Fletchers, UK based guild. Jack will test out our bows and give us all tips in the art of bow making. And that's why in some, you might add a nice bit of deflex into your stave. Last year we went for raw survival and had to find our materials in the forest with limited time. This year, to equal things out, we start with two similar well seasoned S staves from the same log. The staves have some knots and twists in them, not ideal for bow making as one preferably uses a straight stave without any knots. But with some skill and knowledge, a good bow will come out of these. Quite the challenge. Let the battle begin. What's up guys? I hope everybody's doing well. Enjoy this bow making battle. Sadly the audio got wrecked a little here and there. So we voiced over some parts to go with the video. Make it as best as we could. Hope you enjoy. Cheers, guys. Thanks. Yo. Raw, paper, paper scissors. scissors. That was so lame. You go. <laughs> this is a classic, Dylan. Be best of three. Best of three. No. Yeah, of course. No. Always best of three, man. <laughs> yeah. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. Just for the, the one victory, we do the third one. For redemption. Rock, paper, scissors. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Three zero. <laughs> Are you picking that no, one? No, 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 no. Oh, you're going inspecting. Don't tell me this is lame to do a proper inspection. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. The choice is made. Are you going to tell me which one you're choosing? Yes, I choose this one. Because? This one has a knot straight in the middle. Twisted. I think it's a little more twisted than the other one. Yeah, great. Thank you very much. Okay, cheers. One at the ready, X at the ready. Let's go. No, I already started, man. Huh? All jokes aside. I'm going in focus mode. Blanky. It's definitely no survival challenge anymore. Glamping bow moving. Glamping bow moving. Yeah, I see you do it like that. I see you having success with that. Look profitable enough, does it? No, I wanted to try out your method, but I think it'd be equal. Two hours in, it's all done. I had an idea. If you're stuck and you might want to have one opportunity somewhere to call in the helpline. Yeah. <laughs> well, like make a phone call. Yeah. What's the status? I need the helpline. <laughs> I have more or less the bark removed. No point in doing more because I'm taking half of this material off anyway. I'm making an overall strategy. <laughs> making calculations. If I do this, then I need to do that. And if I don't do that, then this might become an issue. You know, that kind of way. What is the deal? You want the bottom bit longer, right? Well, your arrow is on top of the middle. Yeah. So you want the top, top limb longer. Do you? <laughs> yeah, I 
it's not working so well as I hope. I noticed this outside layer, it's very soft and brittle. What part of the bow is this? The belly or the... No, the... You tell me, Mr. Bowyer. The back of the bow, which is away from the archer when they're shooting. You started hacking in that. I didn't start hacking in this, it just crumbled. So then I started taking it away, you know? Because if you wouldn't, then this would just break. You cannot depend on the strength. It's just sponge like. But then it means that you have to take everything off to a certain new layer. Yeah, some of the back, it just crumbles apart. You can just feel the difference when you're carving. There is just no strength in that. You compare that to this. Obviously this is thicker, but even if you get a thinner part, you see the di you can clearly see the difference. Mm -hmm. You can't even break that if you want it. Alrighty, doing a bit of hacking so we will. After all that ramen, what do you call it? Pounding. Hacking. Benny. Mate. Have you seen mine? Uh huh. Whatever yours is, mine is 10 times worse. through this layer, the top layer, while debarking, that layer is brittle, yeah, and it might, that will be a weak point and it might split. So if you go through it, you have to take that whole layer away, and it will be an enormous pain, because it's very hard to see between uh, several year growth, if you're cutting in the right layer over the wall length. Yeah. But this is also with the theory of making a very long lasting longbow, I guess, but it might still be functional. Nearly time to call it a day, eh? Is it? I think so too. It's slowly but surely getting dark. And we have dinner to cook. All that before midnight. Because after midnight, you're gonna be in stress. Yeah, the Mitchies are... Uh, they're swarming. Definitely time for fire. And we have cook. And let's wrap it up today, man. Yeah, I... I'm suddenly surprised by... Some... Nasty developments going on. Yeah, I'm quite the opposite. I was really nastily surprised. Nastily surprised? Is that a thing? Mm -hmm. It's in the beginning. But now I'm sort of over it. Okay. Like back on track, I think. Okay. On a track. Not saying it's the end of the track or a good track, but I'm on a track. Okay, so here's the deal. We're dealing with a top layer on the back of the bow. The bit facing away from you. The bit of the outside, the outside of the tree. This seems to be a very porous layer. I don't think it's a rotten layer. I think it's just a, a sapwood layer. Yeah, so I removed most of that layer, man. I didn't have any faith in that. And it's a good, like, centimeter all mm -hmm. the way around, you know, on the front. 
this is what I have left like this is really thin man so I wonder what will happen if I put pressure on it there's still a lot to go man <laughs> huh? and you see I already profiled it very small and just uh, with the idea of making a longbow yeah you went hard at it man I was uh, I was impressed and it was satisfying to watch it turned up well for the profile I'm very happy with it but if I would make the decision to skin this wall top layer then the bow gets quite small and you would rather the flat boat is in the advantage again especially on this side if a centimeter goes off there there's not enough room here so let's put them down man oh man the midges I'm gonna try and uh, oh yeah gather some of this good man yourself I have to calm down with all the sensation here. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 You become uh, any wiser into bow making with a night's uh, sleep? No. Unfortunately, not. You? No. We start off where we left yesterday. Day two. Yeah, the discussions have been uh, ongoing. I'll leave it on. Yeah. Because I think it's sapwood, and I've never heard that the sapwood is a problem with bow making. Yeah, then we start hustling again, don't we? You shoot the arrow a bit on the top of the center, make the top limb a little longer. No, the bottom. Oh. To make the notch more in the center of the bow, that. Then I say the handle should move down a little bit. Yeah, but you don't want it going down so much that this becomes longer because then your bow is off balance. But you have to make a little bit of a correction, so you just go a very little bit down. Okay. It doesn't matter, man. You know what to do, right? No, I don't know. So the design I have on my bow is two inches less length in the bottom limb. That's why the bottom limb can bend slightly less. Yeah. Because it's stronger. Yeah. It's a four inch wide handle, it goes down, you can measure from the center line up one inch and down three inches. Yeah, this is nice. But this isn't. Too long. Yeah, I hope that will do. Yeah, let's hack big time. Ik begrijp het gewoon niet hoor. Hoe je dit zo kan doen. Radicaal hè dit. Ja, hack. radicaal. Ja, hoppakee, weg te mee. Yes. Hier nu gaan we hacken. Zie je dat? How can you do this? Maybe 
you can censor it. Now you want to censor it? Well, if you think it's inappropriate. Hot damn. Any uh, status updates? What, what are you up to, Dylan? I'm carving a bow. You want to call in a helpline? I do, yeah, but I need, like, uh, when can you come and make a bow for me? <laughs> <laughs> and you, you're at the, the radical stage. No. Make some face stage. Rain lines down. Right, we see what we have, hey? Much better. <laughs> Overall, I suppose, huh? How many pounds? 200. <laughs> if it wouldn't break. <laughs> I go for some water, man. I go for a little rounding. This dude, he's gonna make dinner in a minute. <laughs> well, now. I guess this is where your straight lines pay off, eh? What do you mean? You can just hack away at it. Mm-hmm. It's done, man, it's done. I'm not confident in this job, Dylan. One would say this is the easiest part about making a bow. I hope that will do. This is your homemade setup, yeah? Uh-huh. Quick and dirty. You need a bit of cordage for it. A bit of cordage and another hook. Yeah. But hey. I have my... No, no, no. Let's... Uh... Oh, Dylan. We got fancy hooks these days, man. Look at this. Hand forged, our Hand forged. Wow. One at the bottom. Mm-hmm. And one here, then, is it? That should stay on the bottom, right? Uh, yeah. But it's clear at the moment. It's way too high poundage yet to... Yeah, later I would just mark the places, you know, where to take away. Warbo! Warbo 2.0! Pow! <laughs> the setup works, man, that's great. There. Shootable. We got like 10 inches. You have another good bit to do, eh? You. Like it's nice and tapered overall, but, but very, very strong. 
It's like very heavy. Uh -huh. You don't think the judge will be happy with a powerful war ball? I uh, do, but like we're also going to have to shoot them, right? Uh -huh. That's part of the requirement. But the more poundage, I guess, also the more craftsmanship for it not to break. The higher the poundage? Yeah. No. The lower the poundage. It'd be harder to, to bend, and when you bend it all the way to full draw, it's more likely to break. But a heavy bow is harder to make. Is it? Oh yeah. We had this debate. I said no, it isn't. Oh, because yeah? you can just get this thing, and it's heavy as hell. You know, is there to any get a good, No, to get a good tiller on a heavy bow is harder than okay. to get a good tiller on a lighter bow. Oh, my bend shower. Yeah, that's not good. No, and the midges start to swarm towards that time of evening. Ah, I'm cleaning up my um, axe marks. So yeah, a lot of hand carving now. And but yeah, what's the time? Half past seven, I think. It's dark in a half an hour. We not have fire yet to make and dinner to cook. But we have another day tomorrow. The judge is coming at four. I'll be way in time ready. We should be good. Yeah, a little stropping in the morning. Hmm? And I'm not into stropping, I'm definitely into sharpening. Because things got bad and they were already bad before I started. Right, that's too bad, man. Uh, I should really do some sharpening too. Oh man, I love those Mora handles, man. I call it good. <laughs> I'm just starting. They sure as hell do. Thank you. It's a fresh morning, man. It's foggy as hell and it's damp, isn't it? You feel it like. Uh huh. You want to do sharpening for me, then? In, in return of some uh, taste. Yeah. Whee! Yeah. Oh boy. He's starting to enjoy camp life, huh? Ooh, do, 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 do. Ooh, do, 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 do. He's a really camp dog. Uh, I'm gonna put it back on the tailoring stick, man. Let's see, did I do anything at all? It's just it. So for the string. Put on the rigid loop past the notch. Put that on the thicker end. And then slide this up. A little adjustment with the bench. Ooh, I like the bench upgrade. All for the special bezel day. For the special guests. Okay, there needs a bit to come off, and there, there. Well, it didn't break, that's good. <laughs> How many pounds did you put on? How many pounds? Mm -hmm. Not a lot. But I'm going for a hunting bow, you know that, right? I'm going for a bow that you can just take off and quickly shoot something. Not like... <laughs> You know, because that is just yeah, a useless stick in my in my perspective. But aren't you saying a hunting bow is preferably a more shorter bow? But yours is as long as mine. I know, but you see, I uh, know. I'll wait for Jack to arrive to give away my secrets. You're planning to cut off the piece. I'm not planning, but it's like maybe it's like built in, a built in safety. Yeah. Okay. Fair Does enough. Does that make sense? Yeah, but that's not going to help you today in the challenge. Or are you planning to just put this on and <laughs> just run the just right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Smooth. Oh, fresh lunch doesn't help either, does it? Hot lightning then is uh, overheated. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
funny. That's funny, man. What do you think of that technique? If I'm it start, works. I'm starting to get a sore spot on my thumb. Normally I go like this, you know, it's very controlled. It's nice. But if you do that too long, you get a sore spot. Look, there. So if I'm not careful, I'll get a blister. Bit. Durf the name, man. This statement is, is, is not applicable anymore. You durf niet meer. No, it's now durf rustig aan te doen. In this last stage, you go back and forth to the tillering rack. Marking the points on the bow where and where not to take away material to get to an even bend all across both limbs. Taking away just a small bit of material at a time. Also a sharp spine of your cutting tool can be used as a scraper to make sure not to cut away too much material. It's 15.23 man. We got 40 odd minutes. How are you feeling? I'm the hottest and sort of highest heartbeat now of the challenge, you know? because I have to do a lot more carving and I want to do it precisely but then it takes longer with the knife, you know? The judge has arrived. Somewhere over here. Yeah, I yeah. So I hand you over the, the big moment. The big moment. Okay, there you cool. go. Two bows. Coming up, Jack tests our bows and tells us all about bows and their making. Who will win the bow making battle? Also, check out the Roundhouse Overnight video during this challenge. And consider supporting this content by becoming a patron. This kind of content takes hours of work, especially in the editing. Thanks a lot for your support and see you on the next one.